Hey guys, so real quick before I start the video, I wanted to mention a couple of things. First, I'm trying something a little bit different for this video. So it's not really my normal format, but we'll see how it goes. And number two, more importantly, my wife and I are actually going to be streaming for 24 hours straight for the Extra Life event. That's right, 24 hours straight live streaming. We're gonna be playing some video games, doing some fun stuff. And that is going to be on Saturday, November 4th. As we get closer, I'll probably post over on Twitter um, the exact time we're going to start because we haven't um, nailed that down yet. But it's going to go for 24 full hours. So if you stop by on November 4th, there's a good chance you'll see us there. And I'm going to be streaming that here on this YouTube channel as well as my Twitch channel. I'll put a link down in the description. And my wife will be streaming over on her Twitch channel. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. So if you don't know what Extra Life is, um, I will put a link down to the website and actually a link to uh, my donation page. It's a really cool thing and the backstory behind it's pretty cool too. So take a second, go read. But basically all of the donations go to the Children's Miracle Network and it'll go to helping them. So I don't get any of that. The money doesn't even come to me. It goes straight to them. And it's a really, really good cause. We've already got some donations over there and we've actually been giving away a few prizes and stuff like that. All right, well, enough of that. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back. We are in the office right now and we actually have a printer up here. That is the Prusa Mark II S. And you might be able to see all of these spools down here indicating we got our multi-material setup. Chelsea and I spent the last two nights streaming and getting this thing all set up and we finally got some test prints off. This was the very first one we did. Um, we picked weird colors because um, it was just filament we grabbed. But this little guy, I think his name was Clint the Chameleon and he's printed in some gold, red, blue and silver. And this was the purge tower that came with him. This thing's so freaking cool. I'm so excited we have this. So last night I printed the very first of my own models which was this. Chaos Coin, again, just random colors. I actually didn't change them from the Chameleon. So I used Joel's High Five Blue for the blue there. But I really want to print these in the right colors. But also this is the big version of my Maker Coin. I forgot when I made this in Fusion, I had it quite a bit bigger and I scaled it down later. So let's go back, scale this one down properly, get it sliced, and then uh, let's put in some of the right colors here. Also, I think I need to clean up. This is still uh, quite a bit of a wreck from when Chelsea and I were streaming and everything. So. It's a mess up here and I need to fix that. Okay guys, we're mostly cleaned up. So now I just need to swap out these filaments. I'm not gonna be using any of these colors and then I'm gonna put three in to replace them. So let's do it. So while the Prusa is heating up, we need to change the size of this coin. So you can see I've got the individual pieces here. It looks like a solid one, but if I click through, you can see the, the different parts, you know? Um, so I need to change the size of all of those down to fit this guy. And I'm just doing this in Simplify 3D because it's an easy way to do it. So it looks like I just scaled the Y to 50. So I'm gonna do the same to this one right here, just the outside because that's the biggest part. So I'm gonna scale the Y to 50. What I'm going to need to do is copy the scale right here and then I'm actually going to undo what I did. I will select all of these and then I'm just going to scale them together. That way we have two coins that are the same size but this one is broken up into three different parts and if I export these I'm hoping the origin points will update and Prusa Control will be able to pick them up so let's see. So now we're back over in Prusa Control and let's just see if this works. And I think it did. Woo! Okay, so now we just need to set the colors correctly. Now I'm gonna change this to optimal. We don't need quite that much infill, so I'm gonna go light. No support, no brim. I think that's actually good, but I do want to move this. It doesn't need to be so far away. So now I'm just gonna generate, and we should be good. So for the black, we are using Filamentum. For the white, we're using Repco 3D. 
And for the red, we are using this right here that Pooch over at Repcord sent us. Okay, so filament's loaded, so let's kick off the print. Okay guys, well the print has finished, but before I show it to you, I want to show off the very first print that we did in a little more detail. It was the chameleon, and like I said, this was just random colors we picked, just some filaments we grabbed. And this was actually test G-code from the Prusa website, so we didn't dial in any settings or anything like that, it was all just ran from the G-code. And I think it turned out pretty good. Then after that we tried to print the snake G-code, but it actually popped up from the bed, failed. Um, so then from there I decided to try and slice something of my own and I tried out my um, Chaos Coin. So these were the same colors we had in there for the Chameleon, but I still think it turned out pretty cool even if they're not my uh, correct colors. And then of course, the real reason we are here today is this little guy right here. So this is just my normal Maker Coin, but instead of those slots cut out, I printed them in the correct colors. And I think this thing absolutely looks amazing. I printed this at a 0.1 millimeter layer height just to get as much of the detail as I could and it took roughly four hours. And as you can see here is the uh, purge block that went with it. You know, this thing is solid and it basically just allows it to fully switch colors before it comes back to the object. And as you can see, um, there is no bleeding in anything in this object. Even the very first layer looks spectacular. So that was kind of my first experiences with this machine. Um, I haven't really tried to dial in any settings yet. So this is all just straight from the slicer default settings, and I didn't even change the temperatures for the PLA, so this did a really good job. But this video is by no means a full review of this yet. Um, there's a lot more things I want to try with this and fully experience before I review it, but I will be putting up a review video eventually, and I'll talk fully about uh, all of my experiences with it, including the assembly of it, and ease of use, and everything that goes into it. So hopefully that goes well. I've already got quite a few projects knocking around up here and you'll probably see some of them very soon, hopefully. But what I want you guys to do is let me know down in the comments what you would like to see created on this thing. Now keep in mind there's four colors and ideally if it's something that would require support material, um, I'm going to use PVA so that would limit you to three colors. But of course there's always the option of not using PVA, you'd still get four colors, um, just the areas where the support were probably wouldn't be as clean. But go ahead and leave me a comment, get really creative with it. I'm really interested to see what you guys think of this and want to see from it. Another thing, because I'm sure some people are thinking it and I'm sure I haven't stopped the comments already, but um, this is in no way replacing what Chelsea already does with painting the models and everything. Four colors doesn't even come close to that. Um, and you know, you can still see layer lines and stuff like that. So a technology like this is really, really far off from being able to do um, what we do normally on this channel. So this is not replacing that by any means. This will just be a fun little extra thing. We can create some models and hopefully put the files out there so other people can start to get some colored models as well because I know that not everyone out there likes to paint. Alright guys, well thank you for watching and until next time, keep creating.